All right, everyone, welcome back to Brezim. We're right here at Chirat David Boch Hashem. Shavuot Tov, the Kulam. And uh, we, 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 we wish everyone a good week. And uh, with Siyata Deshmai, we'll continue now. Lakute Halachas Hilchas Tzitzis, Halacha Zayin. And today we're going to do Letter Zayin. Halacha Zayin, Letter Zayin. So seven, seven. Lucky sevens, huh? Yeah, okay. <laughs> okay, what? Almost seven, seven. Yeah, yeah, almost, almost. Okay, so now, again, so the Rav Nassim is, uh, we, was, we taught us the other day, you know, how, how wonderful it is when we put on our, our Arba Kanfos, the Tzitzis, the Talas cotton at home, right? Remember we learned that, that beautiful concept, we put the Talas cotton on at home, and that gets, me, get, gets us ready to be part of the Tzibar. In other words, I put my Tzitzit on at home, which gets me ready, it puts me in the right mind frame. When I come to the shul, I can join together with the rest of the people in the shul. And then, and then we can increase those numbers and become more powerful because we, um, I, I prepared myself with the, tal, with the, with the talus cotton, right? Anyone had a chance to think about that when they put on the talus cotton of a Shabbos? Yeah? No, not yet. Okay. I, I, We'll try. We'll try. I lost the connection from the class well, too, but I went home. Okay, so we're, we're bringing more people to shul. Bringing, getting more people in in shul. That's what the whole thing is. Adding people. Adding people. And that's what we said when we take the well, tzitzis. Work, how many people we had here right at uh, Nate's this morning? It was wonderful. Yeah. And each one that comes, it becomes more great, great with each person that comes. Okay, so let's see. So now Zion. Valkin Kaira, Shoya Shochen Ra. So we keep talking about a, we keep talking about a Shochen Taif, right? You're having a good neighbor. But Korach was what we call a bad neighbor. It's amazing, right? Kairach was a bad neighbor. Kairach. Karak was, was actually, a, he, he started out to be a great person. He was a great person. And uh, he, saw, he, saw, he saw that, that uh, Shmuel Anavi was going to come from him. Right? Karak saw that Shmuel Anavi was going to come from him. And he looked at Maishu Rabbeinu and he saw Maishu Rabbeinu's children didn't really, didn't, nothing came from his children. Yeah. So he really felt that he was, the, he was, he was slighted. <laughs> he felt slighted. But, but Chazal tell us that, that Kairuk was actually a Shochin Ra. He was a bad neighbor. That's a definition. If you want to hear a definition of a bad neighbor, Kairuk. And we'll see why. We'll see why now. Ki olav amru rabbi seinu zuchen levrocha in Bamid Barabba. Oy la rosha, oy l'shcheinai. Woe is to the, is the wicked man and woe is to the neighbor. Right? Right? What did he do? Maishu Rabbeinu was working constantly on bringing all the Jews together. And Maishu Rabbeinu wanted to have an achdos, right? So Kaira comes along and he makes a payment. <laughs> he comes, he's doing the exact opposite. He's trying to undo what Maishu Rabbeinu is doing. He's trying to get the, his political party, right? <laughs> he wanted his party... To, to, to take over, right? So he's trying to take people away from... Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Okay, B'chin is Vayikach Kairach. So, so what does Vayikach Kairach mean? So, Uncle says, the is Pali Kairach. He made a... He made a... Look, he made a... A what? He made a division. He made a division. He made a, a, a problem between... Everything was going nicely. And all of a sudden, he flared up. Okay, Allah pasuk b'sedaim. Okay, so now what's this thing of here b'sedaim to call him? So, so if you know by Yaakov Avinu, Yaakov Avinu knew that uh, that uh, what he called that Kairach, that Kairach was gonna was gonna do this. He had an idea about this. So Yaakov Avinu was, was requested from Hakadosh Baruch Hu that his name shouldn't be in there. So then it says, Kairach ben Yitzar ben Levi, but Lai Kasta ben Yitzar. In other words, it wasn't, Yaakov Avinu want, didn't want to be part of this, uh, of this uh, uh, argument. He didn't want to be part of it. He didn't want to be part of this, uh, this thing. He saw it, and it, it was something that really bothered Yaakov Avinu. Yaakov Avinu tried so much 
to, to bring to, to bring to bring everyone together, and it was mamish okay. against everything that that uh, that Yaakov wanted to do. Mm. Right? Okay, Al Kain, Pagam be mitzvah sitzis daika. So that's why Kairach chose. What was his main thing? He chose. He chose the talus. Right, he came to Moshe Rabbeinu with his klutz kasha. Right, what was his klutz kasha? Mm. He said, "If I if I can have a beged that has that has linen, we said because we said really you can have you can have shotness when it comes to trailers. When it comes to trailers, so if you can have when when it, when if you have real trailers, we don't we don't really know. Whatever we're not going to do today because there's a suffix if we have trailers or not, we're not going to do the, the the shotness. But real trailers, you can you can okay." So, so he said, if he can have a beged, that the trailers can pot the beged, because I put this one string on of the trailers. So Allah has come of a come. If I make the whole beged out of uh, the trailers, so of course it's going to be good. Without the tzitzis. <laughs> without the tzitzis. Oh, yeah, yeah. Look, I'm, 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 what? what do you mean without the tzitzis? That's what he, he, he said, I'll make a yeah. whole garment mm-hmm. with no tzitzis on it. Oh. It's trailers, it's blue. So I can have a four cornered garment without the tzitzis. Unbelievable. All the things that we're learning about the tzitzis, right? Hashem Echad, right? And all the things that we're learning, that the Kisei Akkad, all the stuff that we're studying. So he wants to do without the tzitzis. Wow. And that's why he made a pagam specifically in the midst of tzitzis, because tzitzis brings us all together. Right, mm-hmm. Titus is there to, to bring Kla Yisrael, to bring the Achdos in Kla Yisrael. So Kairach wants to make his, so he goes against it, and he picks the specific limits for Titus. And this is one of the things I love about Rav Nossin. He gives us such a perspective of it. You know, he puts it into context. You know, in the Lima that we're learning, who would have ever thought to bring Kairach into this mess? <laughs> in, in, into our lima, who would have thought they would bring Kairach yeah. in to understand, so to help us understand what we're trying to accomplish by using Kairach as an example of what he was trying to do to unravel what we're trying to accomplish. Uh, okay, he put on his garment that was uh, was was all trelis. He called pegamai his whole pagam was in the idea of the tikkun atzitzis, all the tikkunim that we make by wearing atzitzis, by wearing the talus cut and the talus gadol. Shul ha'isif shchenim toivim alakibatz akodesh. And those, that's the whole idea. We're trying to bring more people in, and that's something. Vavien l'shalom e bakan face color. So in those, I'm trying to bring people in. I want to add people. I mean, we want to constantly add people. And that's what the tzitzis has helped me do. To join together, like we said, the chevel. Right? Yaakov nachlose, chevel nachlose. Right? The whole idea of the chevel. To have that, the rope of, of emuna. To bring people in. He made a pagam on this al kain cholak al mitzvah tzitzis daika, and therefore he specifically chose. It wasn't random that he chose the mitzvah of tzitzis. So that if this if this doesn't help drive the point of Rav Nassim home, what he's trying to teach us about tzitzis that it brings that it brings achlas, right? Now is, this this really is a, is a, is a great is a great uh, proof of what Rav Nassim is teaching us over here, right? It's a good qualification. It qualifies what he's trying to say because you learn it from the, from the other side. Yeah, he wants to make he wants to make a, a, the distance. Everyone, that's all he tries to do. Anyone want to say anything on this or any questions? So it's like one of those things that we put them on and we just know it, as we get more people coming in and then they'll bring more and more and more because they're all wearing tzitzis, but we don't really see it happening. We don't. S- what do you mean? Don't unless, see unless you it. see, like, like if Nates would begin to grow, there would be fifty people here. We would see it that there are more people. But well, we have more people. It's slowly, slowly. Take, take. No, no, no I understand. No, but, no one says this happens in in in, in, a, in a moment's time. <clears throat> no, no, I didn't say that it did. I'm just saying, but we don't really see it. That we don't necessarily see it happening. But but we can just I know that it's happening? Can I say I see it happening? You know, I see it happening. I see you here. He's not talking about the Nates. He's no, talking about I'm talking no, about. No, no, no. Uh, no, I'm saying no, I see you here. sitting here. But Mordechai, I see we we see you sitting here. It's working. Okay. <laughs> He's back. <laughs>
Orange always here. Don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> Well, okay, we're one only, at a time. It's we're one at a time. That's it. Okay. That's it in, in the most ama amazing ways. Right? In the most amazing ways. What was your story? You had a plumber came to your house? What was the story? Can you tell the story how you made it over here, please? No, I wanted to learn. Yeah. The Kuti Chalakot. But why? You told me. Why'd you tell me? Oh, yeah, because a plumber came to my house. You see, a plumber, he had a, he had a plumbing problem. Right? right? So tell everyone. Come on. He came Let, to my house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, we just connected. He was very uh, a spiritual guy. I don't even know what that means. I'm saying spiritual guy. We, we just connected. That Whatever, yeah, yeah. we talked about the we talked about the uh, the uh, you know the tent the the spheres. The spheres. The yeah, okay. and that he said look what the is all about. That I said really I, I want to learn that. We should try and do that together. You know. Okay. But you know the schedule busy, so we never really made it. So but it planted in my brain that I, I want to study that. So I came to see. Uh, Rev Shlomo, Katz, mm -hmm. and uh, we were talking about it. I told him what I wanted to do. I wanted to get closer to Shem, and I wanted to learn. He said, well, we have a guy in Nates after the... After the... See that? The Domini that uh, teaches it. That's cool. So, um, so I come to Nates, and he's out of town. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. <laughs> However, I, huh? <laughs> however, no, it really is a beautiful thing because then I discovered that you didn't have a Kohen here. Uh -huh. And part of my job, I feel, as a Kohen is to find a minion that doesn't have a Kohen and, and go. Mm -hmm. yeah, so yeah, I started yeah. coming, and he still didn't show up for a couple weeks. <laughs> he was still out of town. And I didn't know that he was doing it online anyway. So I came, and then he came, and it led to all this. And it is, it, it is a beautiful thing that. Uh, so so you know, look that, how Hashem. So, so 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 one thing. So Hashem guided so me. So Mordechai, right you answered your own question. Here. Did you not answer your own question? I how is it working? You just answered how it's working. Hashem has His most amazing ways. Wait, yes. You had to have a plumbing, plumbing. problem in your house, mm -hmm. and it happened to call. Someone gave you that guy's number, mm -hmm. and you happened to call this guy, and he was it had to. Right? Well, you no, see, I, I, and it I, works I, by absolutely. Yeah. It's uh, working. I need to bring you the book uh, to find water. Mm. <laughs> I have it. Uh, you read it? I not the whole thing. No, but it's the life of Rabbi Nathan. It's, yes. It's, uh, yeah. It's in the background. <laughs> yeah. Uh, no, I no but that's that it, it, that's that's what it's See? all about. <clears throat> now it's just let me. I need to go read that book. See? Yeah. Oh. Can, yeah. Oh. And oh, wait. The story's yeah. not over because coming here, I learned. I was looking for. Uh, I was also looking for a path to for learning. So when I came here, I found out recently in the past few weeks that uh, after Nates, they do Tanya, they do Yom Yom, Lakut HaLachot, and they do the Parsha, the, the Aliyah of the day. Mm -hmm. So you, and then, um, and then you also do uh, Tehillim mm -hmm. over 30 days. So you do whatever the three, four, or five they are for that day. And that gave me a path of learning so Amazing. Kind of, so it, it did all of that. Unbelievable. Yeah. Unbelievable. So, now, so you see that? Inspiring. Thank you very much really, for sharing that. Really fixed the plumbing. He fixed it. <laughs> he, 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 he really fixed, really fixed the plumbing. Yeah. <laughs> and now I'm wrestling with, I don't have a beard, and I see people putting on... Uh, all right, slowly, two, slowly. Lot, 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 lot. <laughs> lot, lot. Lot, lot. Now don't worry, it's going to work. Don't worry. Don't worry. It's working. A lot of people yeah. put on a beard during Sphera. Because they don't take, they take on not to shave during sphere. Yeah, then it, yeah, it, it looks is, nice, and then then you wind up keeping it. Yeah. Well, my one of my rabbis told me, but I, I could shave for Shabbat. Okay. Now, okay. I don't know if that's. Oh, so you trim the beard a little bit, so you're just trimming. <laughs> you so it's it. true, but these are all the messages that okay. come in, and that's God, all, Hashem all. guides us, and okay. He helps them. Okay, so let's go. Let's go. Okay, fine. So now we see that. So we so we see this beautiful point, and we use Kairach. I'm sorry, Kairach, that we had to use you for the example, but uh, uh, Kairach is they say he's in his ground and he's screaming, "My Shemes, my Shemes, my Shemes." No, that's what that's what the Chazal tell us. They right. He's in his uh, wherever he is, <laughs> and he's screaming, "My Shemes, my Shemes, my Shemes." He's trying to fix it. So okay, Mitzvah Shem. Okay, okay, Ches. Eight, Lamalam and Ateva. Vezebachinus Pasha Shkolem. But we just had that yesterday, right? Yeah, we just yeah, read. He sees us, right? As Rosh Mene saw, right? As Rosh Mene saw. When you went, Radova Temua. This is a, a wonder. The whole idea is a wonder. Why is this a wonder? 
מייחס שהמניין מסוכן שיוכל לשלוט הנגף על ידי זה, כמו שם רבי סיינו ז"ל. And the Chazal tell us that really when we, we're not supposed to count Jews, right? Because if you count Jews, you can make a problem. You make a problem. We're going to explain now what the problem is when you count Jews. So watch this. Lo matziva lim noisam shehitnu shkolem koife nafsham lo yichtoiv lo yhei v'lo yivav. Why would you rather not say v'ha'ani v'ha'ashi, right? Don't use the hey, don't use the vav, don't add that. Just, why do you need it for, again? Lo yim na'isim klal. Don't count Jews at all. Why, why, why do we need, why do we need this whole thing of counting? What was the whole idea, why was the whole idea to count? So we know that the, the Medra says that a Kodesh Baruch Hu likes to count Jews because the same way people like to count their money. It's near and dear to them. They like to, they take out their money, they like to count it. So a Kodesh Baruch Hu loves his Jews, so he likes to count us. But if you, if you think about it, HaKadosh Baruch Hu told us to count us, not counting people. Everyone made their contribution, and their contribution was counted, right? It wasn't, it wasn't the person. We didn't go one, two, three, four. We didn't, we didn't count the people. It wasn't a, it wasn't a census. Uh, what do they call that? Census. A, a census. It wasn't a census, right? You didn't, you didn't fill out a form. You just handed in your money, and you counted the, counted the money. There's the whole point that we, we want to join more Jews together is to again to increase those numbers using the factorial uh, calculation, right, Mordechai? Right, right? Sasha, right? The factorial thing, it comes to ad ein kates v'cheker. You know, as you can't, the numbers become so... Vast, so exponential, we don't even know how to read these numbers. They're just so, they're so big. Ayadei teisvis nefesh al nefesh shenizvavsim ayadei aminyan. By adding each and every one, one by one, right? And you saw, we saw how big it is. When even one more, when you have a big number and you add one more, the number becomes that much greater, right? So the more people you have, the next one that adds is, is tremendous. Right, so even even the fact, like we learned, Rabbi Mordechai, so there's more people in our minion now, Baruch Hashem, and Hara, than we had when we first started, right? And each one that adds makes our minion that much more powerful. powerful. It's not just that; it's that you start with a smaller number. Yeah. When you add a person, it makes it much more powerful. But it's it's much less than if you have a larger number and you add a number. So if you have like once you get to a hundred, as opposed to ten, and then you add one. Oh, it's that's so a, a, it's unbelievable. It becomes exponential. Yeah, it's unbelievable. Mm-hmm. Well, you, you get into the billions after you get to seven, right? <laughs> Unreal. And you could just keep adding to these houses and, and you just become more and more and more, more powerful. Therefore, the Torah warns us, right? We have, the, we have this, if you're going to count, you're going to count, but count them through using the, the money. Don't count the people themselves. That was everyone gave their monetary contribution of the of the half a shekel, and through the half a shekel, that's how we were counted, but not counted by the person themselves, right? Make to see the difference, right? Is that because mm-hmm, yeah. it makes them like a non-person if you count just count? Someone? No, because because we don't want to count. We're going to learn now why because because the. The nations, you see, when we count, when we count, we're really ma'at mikol ha'amim. Klai Yisrael, the Torah says that we are the smallest nation of all the nations, right? We're the smallest nation. And uh, so when we start counting, so then the guy on the other side, you know, they're angels of the, of the, of the other nations. They start saying, huh, well, you think you're so big, look how big we are. And they, they, it, it, we, we become, it, it, doesn't, it doesn't work out good for us. We're not supposed to do that. You know, the most beautiful, one of the most beautiful but things we, that I learned... Say with, look what, how little we are. What, one second, what, I'll explain that to you, one second. One of the most beautiful things I learned from Rav Cook. one of the most beautiful things was this concept that he, that he teaches about, about Eretz Yisrael and Kla Yisrael. He says that everything is really like a triangle. It's a triangle. And, and anything that you see in this world that's very, very big, it's very, very big. Like, there are big countries, right? You have Russia... Right, in America, Canada, right? They're, they're big, Australia, big, big countries, right? 
but he says really up on high, it's the bottom, down here is the bottom of the triangle. When the top of the triangle goes into Shemayim, it's very small. The top of the triangle is very small up in Shemayim. There's this big down here, but it's very, very small in Shemayim. But take Eretz Yisrael and take Klal Yisrael. We're very small down here, right? But but because it, 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 we're a reverse triangle. We're the spit. The spit, the point of the triangle is down here. But really, as it goes up to Shemayim, we take up, we're, we're very, very big and very, very important. Wow. You understand? We're very, very, very important. Is that, is, you ever hear that concept before? Again, <laughs> It's a combination. In other words, we have to be co- uh, connected and in, 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 in influence. If we're connected together down here, we become very, very uh, expo- like we're saying, we become exponential up in Shemaya. And the land itself and, and Klai Yisrael, the same idea. Why are we small and why is our country small? <laughs> right? I, I, I read a thing a couple of years ago. Yeah, that, yeah. Uh, uh, the average person in the world who, who reads the news thinks Israel is as big as China. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Takes up the most new news in the world. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's fantastic. That is interesting, right? That's a very interesting well, thing. The other thing I've thought about that is, you know, like when uh, Hashem says, I'm, you'll be like the stars of the whatever. Yeah. I think about that. So what that means in terms of time that we're here. Yeah. That we will be like the all the stars or the sands or whatever, but it's not like all at one time. Okay, yeah, because we hear the longest. No, but 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 again, if you if you take these <clears throat> new numbers and you do this new yeah. factorial thing, and we, we say we're like the the, the 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 sand, we figured out how many granules of sand there are, right? <laughs> Sasha did that on another thing, right? That was crazy. Right? Remember? Do you remember that? Yeah. <laughs> Unbelievable. So, so in other words, that's it. We see how we can have these big, big numbers, right? We see how we can have these big numbers. <coughs> so we shouldn't have that. We shouldn't have that. We shouldn't have a, 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 a plague or a problem amongst us because we're counting directly us. So therefore, the money was used instead. Because we're really a holy nation, and we're really above counting. We don't, we don't, we don't need to be counted. We're, we're, we're so important, each one of us, we don't need to be counted. Because we really come from the place of Achlis. Where's Achlis? HaKadosh Baruch Hu. It's Echad HaMiyuchad, right? HaKadosh Baruch Hu is Echad HaMiyuchad, right? And we, our Neshamas come... From again, from Tachas Kisi Akavid, the place of Achdos, right? Akadosh Baruch. So really, we we are a people of Achdos. That's who we are. That's why there's always such opposition. We we try to make uh, the Eitzahar tries to separate us, and that's why everyone. Well, well, I wear this keeper, he wears this one, and I wear this one, I do this. <laughs> All the nonsense. But really, if we think about it, we're really a people of Achdos. We are Achdos. So we say that at, on, on Mincha, right? right? We say that Shabbos Mincha, right? Mm-hmm. Right, the most special time. Mincha is the most auspicious time. Right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, it's the time of Rava the Ravin. It's the time of, of the closeness and the friendship with HaKadosh Baruch Hu. Vikar Aminyan V'Acheshben Hu Eitz Alayv Dekechavim. But really, the census and all the counting is really when it comes to the Oyv de Kechavim, when it comes to the non Jews, to the nations of the world. That's where counting comes from. That's where it's supposed to be. That's the census. Shame Bechinus Ribui. That's the idea of Ribui, the multitude of them. Bechinus Bikshu, a Cheshbainais, Rabin. They want to have a lot of, they want to have a lot of different, uh, uh, they're interested in having a lot of different. A, a lot of different chesbonis. Uh, Kamesha Perish Rashi, as Rashi explains, Ace of Hoyoloi Shisha, Shisha Nafshois, Vinikroyim Nafshois. Ace of had Shisha Nafshois. He had six people, Nafshois, people, separate people, separate people. Vinikroyim Nafshois, Losh and Rabin, plural, Nafshois. Now, but what? But look, now we're getting ready for Pesach, right? So look at this. 
Yaakov Avinu had 70. He had six. And we said that he was counting them, the Lush and Rabbin. Yaakov Avinu has 70. It's a nefesh echad. One nefesh. Because, again, Yaakov was teaching the whole idea of the achdos. And that's why we, before we brought that Yaakov Avinu was davening to HaKadosh Baruch Hu. He doesn't want to be part of this idea with Kairach. Because uh, hold the whole <coughs> principle of Yaakov Avinu is saying you have to all be together. We have to be one. We have to be one. No, no, no period, no separation. This is what we learned from from the, from from Yaakov Avinu. Okay, let's see now. Avo be'emes machmazer called nafshes Yisrael chashuvim nefesh echad because it is now we understand that all nefesh Yisrael, the whole thing, all Jews are really considered one. We're really considered one again because we're connected. Like we say, ata echad v'shim echad nik yam chisol koy echad baritz. Right, like we said, right. We're one. We're one people, one place, one country. We're one. We're one. We are one. Machmazer daika tzrichin she yisrael yisrabu mi oy kichol ayam, and therefore klai yisrael has to uh, multiply like the uh, like the uh, uh, sand on the beaches, right? We're talking now about the sand on the beaches. Kichol mashi yisrael misrabu mi oyser misgadol kevoidei ushmai yisbarach yoyser. The more klai yisrael in- increases. The more cover there is to Hakadosh Baruch Hu, because more people that come in to the to, and, and join, the more yidden that join, that come and join us, so those numbers become greater. And then again, Hakadosh Baruch Hu has so much more covered in the world. Malay Chalaritz Kavodi. That's what the whole thing is about. Adding Hakadosh Baruch Hu is covered in the world. And how do you do that? You do that by having more Jews come in. Bechinis Beroiv Am Hadras Melech. Right that we learned about with the Megillah. Right. When you do the Megillah, you read it in a bigger place. Just last week, right? It's not so far, not so long ago. Beroiv am hadras melech. But with the more people you have, there's more, there's more grandeur, there's more, there's more beauty to the king by having more people join. And even the Kohanim did the Kriyat Megillah with the Beatrat Melech. Right, we said that they 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 were mavatel their their avoda. To go to go to, to listen to the to, to the Megillah and daven together with the Nate's minion with Klal Yisrael, not by themselves when it came to Purim. Okay. When the Chlalim Yosei Bachtusa is Baruch Bashfil Zet Siva Lim Noisam Legalis Reba Misper Nashi Yisrael Shem Shisha Meyos Elif Veyosa that we are more than six hundred thousand Shisha Meyos Elif more than six hundred thousand. More than 600,000. When we were at Har Sinai, we were 603,550 people. 603,550 people. You know that? When we were at Har Sinai. Males. Yeah, we were male, males. Over in, uh, we're, we were 603,550 people. Mm-hmm. <laughs> There were more than 600,000. Again, I wouldn't even know what that number is based on that calculation that we did. If you got to 600,000, yeah. Mordechai, would you be able to read such a number? Yeah. Using the factorial? It would take It would take that much time, you right? read the number. Yeah. I'll just say infinity. 3.1. Uh, it'll be an infinity, right? <clears throat> in order to 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 raise up Hakadosh Baruch Hu's honor and glory in the world, in, like we say in the Ashrei, right? To tell over to people Hakadosh Baruch Hu's power, his 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 his, his wonderful things that he does. I love him. Uh, I love him. I love him. Nafshei sami. I'm yachedim. Shemoi tamid in the chlon b'achtusi is barach. Is barach. Unbelievable. This is really what we're trying to do, and this is what we're, that's what our, our whole avoda is. We're in this world to do this in order to, to to join to join ourselves to other with other Jews, and together we're meyached a kodesh baruch hu. We're we're increasing a kodesh baruch hu's achtusi is barach in the world. So what uh, that means is when we yes. put on our tzitzit, yes. we need to have the intention of bringing more people to show. Yes. Yes. You I mean, can rather than just putting them off for the sake of, all right, I got to no, put on my tzitzit. No, no, we said when we take the, when you gather, when you collect your tzitzit from the, in, uh, at Shema, right before the Shema, it says, 
Does it say in your city, some say, it, some do? Or, no, uh, everyone does that, right? Everyone, yeah. Everyone does that. Okay, yeah. everyone, everyone does that. So everyone gathers, everyone gathers together. I'm sorry, Mordechai. I love that city that you had. He has a city that it says in a city sometimes, some say. Yeah. I love that. That's it's great. That's great. So I said, I ask in the city, they say some do. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they, uh, maybe, I don't know. No, but so what we said, when, we, when you get to the point, and I cut, we, we say to Hashem, to collect, gather up. That I want to gather from the four corners of the earth. So that's when you collect your tzitzis. You get, pick up, you bring your tzitzis. Right. So we said when, when, you, when you come to that thing, if you have in mind to bring back Jews, that's a, benef- a very beneficial, it's a auspicious time to do that. Okay, and then, okay. Okay, and then that's how we fit into the tzitzis. I will take of Kishimayne Mesisol, Yochalis, Ira Kitrug. But whenever we count Jews, and this is what the whole thing is, we never really care, right? If you, you, you need a minion, right? So you, you use the psukim, you use different things to count Jews. You don't count them directly. You don't say like one Jew, two, three, three. No, we, don't, we don't do that. We should collect a she- half shekel from everybody and put it in the pushki. Well, well, okay, when you need a minion, they may not show up then. Yeah, they may not show up then. Yeah. <laughs> well, we'll have a tuna fish sandwich then. Oh, if you, yeah. yeah. Then we have to talk to Charles about that. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, oh, okay, here we go. So, so we know we don't want to make a kid trick. We don't want to have any, we don't want to make any opposition, any problems. We don't want to, we don't want to cause any issues with, with Jews. So therefore, we don't want to count them. Because if you do count them, that's what happens. Because they're, 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 the, the whole idea of the other side is, when we feel that we're strong, that we have a lot of people, and we feel that we're, we're, we're powerful people, that's when the other side can attack us. That's when the other side can attack us. When we feel that we're, we're, we're mighty, we're powerful, that's when the other side attacks us. It's unbelievable. Bechinas bikshu cheshboinus rabim. As it says, that they, they're, 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 they're requesting to have uh, 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 many, uh, many uh, different ways, in many different ways. Until, uh, until it can cause that it can come from the side of death, that, Baruch Hu, that, 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 that the other side brings us. We're trying to avoid that. He, uh, why? He, because the minion, when, when, when it comes to this, they, they're going to say, they're going to say, Yaimru, they're going to say to Yisrael, Ma'atem is misparim, b'riba yachesh ben shalachem. Why are you taking such pride in your numbers? You think you have so many numbers, right? You think you're so many, so many. Haloy anu merubim yoyse beklape kifla kiflayim. Uh, we're, we're much, we have much more numbers than you. No matter, no matter what numbers we're going to come up with physically in this world, what we're going to come up physically in this world, we're, we're not going to come to the numbers of the statistics, uh, statistics or, or uh, the census of any, any, any other nation. We're not going to come to that. And, but we said, and, and why? So you'll say to me, well, but there are more. They have also the read read about them. They don't. They, don't, they, they can't get to these, these factorial numbers because they're all, they're all separate. They're each man for their own. When it comes to the nations of the world, each man is for his own. Everyone's looking out for themselves. There's no concept. There's no concept of achdos. So in other words, on the surface, on the surface, it seems like there are many more Chinese. It seems like there are many more Indians and there are more, many more Russians and Americans in the world, right? It seems like there are many more of them. But yes, there are many more of them, but they're each individual, like we said with Asaph. Asaph had six it was, he had six, it was called nafshes. They, they were in plural because they're each man for their own. When it comes to Kla Yisrael, even though we're, we're, we're smaller, but we join together and with that we, we become more powerful than all of them. And that's why there's always so much uh, opposition and there's so much they, uh, that, they, that we shouldn't have achdos in the world. That's why the other side is always trying to separate Jews. Different group, groups, different factions, different things. Because we, we don't, he does, they, 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 the whole idea is we can, we can become victorious when we are all together and we have an achdus. When we have an achdus. And that's why I think right now in our country here, this thing with this uh, judicial reform is causing such a period like never before. 
It's, it's, it's the worst thing possible. Right? Is that true, Ellie? And, and no one even knows what they're trying to do. No one even knows. <laughs> they don't even yes, know what they're do. doing. Yes, look, we do. Look, look at the do? UN. The yeah. UN is a perfect example. Well, yeah. It's the only topic in the U UN is Israel. I mean, the major topic. And so, you know, it's all trying to bring you Israel down. Right, right, right. The United Nations yeah. of the world. <laughs> I know what the, the judicial thing is all about. What is it about? Power. Power, okay. That's it, pure and simple. Who's going to have the power in Israel? The people, the people's always been there. It's just not, it doesn't rise to the surface until there's a power struggle. I understand, but, 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 but again, the whole idea is to make, is to make an achdus. Right, well, yeah, unity. Shalom, unity, yes. Unity, unity. It's, it's supposed, it's, shalom has to be the emet as well. It's, it's, it's of course. Of course. It's under oppression and but the whole world is, ju is ju jumping in on this judicial issue. You know, it's a big issue with Biden. Yeah. You know, like, <laughs> I know. It's anything like, that divides the Jews, everybody's interested in. That's all. <laughs> okay, so that's what they said. So when we start counting, when we start counting, that's why they keep telling you how many people came to their, they keep saying how many people came to their, their rallies and so many things. They're counting them. You understand? That's where you get the negative, because they're counting them. They're saying how many people came. You understand? That's the, that's yeah. the real problem. And they counted how many people came on Shabbat, because they wanted to do it the same time we were doing it in Israel, Mose Shabbat. So they broke Shabbat. To go to oh, okay, they let's went. okay, okay, okay. Don't no, let's not okay. But that's I'm just saying what the problem I'm is sorry. and why we really have to dive into our Kodesh brother that we should have more shalom in Kla Yisrael. Yeah. Well, and and, and, and that's what your bracha is, sir. Thank you very much. You tell you're bringing the bracha of shalom. You bring the bracha of shalom, the kaya. Ahava. Mm -hmm. Ahava and shalom. Mm -hmm. What's your you finish your bracha? Shalom. Shalom. Mm -hmm. Shalom. Right? Bring shalom. Right? That's what it's all about. And they're counting themselves, so they're, they're, they're going to kill themselves with that. They're counting themselves, yeah. yeah they're counting and they're themselves. mentioning their numbers. And that's going to ruin them, according to... On our side, we don't, we don't, on, the, on the other side, they, 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 we don't talk about it. I know, there's no response from them at all. Because we, we have achdas, because we have unity. So we're one. <laughs> we are one, we will win. We will win, yes. We no, we, well, we we're learning, we're going to win. They're going to kill themselves out. I mean, based on what we're learning, they're causing the Sitraka to, 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 to attack them. Hashem should protect them. They should all change their minds and make tshuva. Mm -hmm. And we can have more people. That's what really what we're, that's what we're davening for. And that's what we can do. Maybe when we take our tzitzes, we can have in mind all these other people to bring them back and to give them a little seichel. And they should, they should join. In. Is this what it was like in Egypt when I many don't stayed know. behind? Yes. Was there, was there a division? Of the Chamushim Olumi Mitzrayim, right? It says that one fifth. Chamushim has two meanings. It means we, we, were, we were armed, right? Rashi brings down we're armed. But the Chazal also says that Chamushim, only one fifth of the Jews went out of Egypt. So right? they must have been divided in some way then, because they didn't come with us. They didn't believe in Moshe. What? They didn't believe in Moshe. They saw the Moftim, they saw everything. Well, what happened, what happened last weekend in the Pasha with the, when it came to the Cheda Ego, right? 3,000 people died. There was a little civil war there, right? All of those that were, were with the with the eagle, right? So they went and killed them out, right? Right, isn't that what happened? Right, right? It was about 3,000, I thought it says it, right? It was about 3, what? 3,000 people. We, we, we don't, we just read it, but we don't realize, what, what was that? Wait, was that the three thousand fell into the no, uh, no, earth, or that was a different time? Last week, last, week. last week's part, we talked yeah. about, the, about the golden calf. After, but the, the, came, golden calf, after the golden calf, Moshe Rabbeinu said, Mi Hashem Eli, come to my camp. And the, the, the Levian went out, and we killed out, they killed 3,000 people. Uh, and then Korach also. Now, Korach was 250, 250, yeah, 250. 250 fell in. Uh, yeah, yeah. Counted. No, but, but you see that how it's, you know, it's the other, that's what it, okay. You can see the, the integration. Yeah. It's all the nafs, the tzitzit, that's like the, that's how we're interconnected, that's the achtud. Yeah. That's the achtud, that's, that's what we're trying to do, exactly, exactly. Ki kol am, ki kol uma v'uma, mehem merube yoseb and mispah ha'poshet. Because really each and every nation, they have a lot of numbers. They have a big, big, big census, there's a lot, a lot, a lot of numbers. Uh, uh, when you count them, right? Uh, more than Yisrael. Like we mentioned before, 
The Torah says, You are the, the minority of all the nations. When we count each other, then we're the ma'at. But we're, we're, the, we're the most, we have the biggest number when, when, uh, when what do you call it, when, when we have, when we have achtos. When we have achtos, because even like the, the Indians, what they have, two billion people, right? So we can get to, we, 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 we supersede the six billion, right? When we, when we get to eight people. Right, <laughs> we have more pe- We have more. We're more powerful. But the the point is, we need the achdas. Yeah. Only when we have the achdas, it's it's unbelievable. You know, is it, we, we're saying it, but we really have to start to think about this. What this really means? How important that achdas really is? How each and every person is achdas. Each and every person. You know, the kedusha slavey said when it comes to kabbalah satayra, so you have to make sure that you. Uh, you, you made peace with all of your neighbor. You made peace with everybody. Why? He said, because every Jew, every Jew is another ois in the Torah. is another letter in the Torah. Each Jew is another letter. So if you, if you have something against one Jew or another Jew, and they're a part of the so then your, your Torah is not, uh, you don't have a complete Torah. I don't know if this is just what you're saying, but it's that when we have a war in Israel, yeah. We have Has octaves, sure. we have unity. Yes. Everybody, no one is picking on anybody. I mean, they're, they're all focused together. Yes. And I almost think that that's one of the reasons why we have wars. So Hashem is teaching us. Yes. Look how powerful our we come together. Yes. Yeah. And there are those that become from after wars. I, I know a lot of I, I know a lot of people that I met in America. They were Israelis. They were they were in the army and they, they were not from they were chilonim and they saw the Yad Hashem and they saw the miracles and they became from yeah we we don't we, we don't we just have to constantly do our part and understand this concept that we are one we are one and that's what we really have to understand that we're one people. Shalom. And therefore we have to worry that we're gonna we're gonna uh, be attacked by them because they have so many more. Right? So if we count each other, that's the whole point why we don't count. You understand? Now we're really learning why we, we don't count, right? It's an eye and hara. We always know that we don't count. But now we're really understanding why we don't count because we we, we become we become minimize, we we minimize ourselves well, when not, we count our, when we count each other. It's not an accurate counting. It's not an accurate counting. No. No. It's not an accurate counting. You want to say something? No? Mm-hmm. And that's how it causes the, the kitrig upon them. But really to, to understand this concept like we're learning, that this idea that, that even, even like in the parsha, 3,000 Jews were killed. Unbelievable. You know, when, when, when the Jews, are, when, when we had the different plagues and the different things in the desert, so they died. They died. Okay, as, as bad as it is. But here we actually took a sword and they killed 3,000 people. 3,000 people that were standing at Har Sinai just 40 days before. Might have been the Arab Rav, too. I mean, who knows? Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? It, 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 the Torah says that we killed 3,000. It doesn't tell us who we killed. We don't know. But you're probably right. It may have been the Arab Rav. We don't know. What's the Arab Rav? The Egyptians that came out with this. Oh. The Egyptians, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's some Midrash that says that they're the ones that were the instigators. They, they were the instigators. They were the constantly the instigators, yeah. negev. Shehu sitra the Moisa, until he can have that, the plague that comes upon us, which is the side of death. And that's the main, that's the main, Sheshom uh, that's their main, that's their main way. How do they, how do, how do the nations of the world really attack us? By making period between us. By making separation amongst us. That's the true attack. That's the real attack. And it's, it's, it, it's so profound. It's so unbelievable when you think about this. It's so amazing. All they're trying to do is to make a period between us. You know, it's just causing a plague. And really, the beginning of uh, Corona was really very Jewish. It was very Jewish? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, it was very... Jews were hit very hard at the very beginning. The very beginning. Okay. I mean, you were in New York. So supposedly the bodies were just stacked up in the... In the they were. They were. They were, yeah. Nowhere else. Goyim didn't have that. 
at the beginning. They didn't have that, huh? No, they did not have that. They had deaths, but not like not like was happening in New York and in Israel. I understand. Wow! 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 We we lost more Jews at that time. At the beginning, at the beginning, a yeah. lot of Jews, a lot of Jews died. Oh, it was it was it was it was uh, yeah 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 in, the, in New York there was there a lot of a lot of pre holy Jews died. You know, a lot of rebellion. So there was some pruning pruning going on. We don't know. We don't, we don't. No, we know that the tzaddikim they take on the, they, they die in order to to to, to resolve to, to absolve us from from. Okay, we don't know. Okay, so look. So now he says now. And therefore, now we understand why the Torah says if you're going to count Jews, you count them what through the shkolim. You have to use you have to use the shkolim. Don't count the Jews themselves. Use the shkolim. You have to go such. Okay, okay. Asher who kaifer nafsham because that's the kaifer. That's the that's the their. Uh, how would you like to say kaifer? How would you like to translate kaifer? The redemption. The redemption. It redeems them from the plague, right? That's a nice way to do. That's good. That's good. Behind the shetziva sheyitnu b'shvil mishkan, and they gave them the money be, to use it for the mishkan. That's the most beautiful thing, right? And there was my, we collected we collected the the machzus shekel. And what it was used for? It was used for the adanim, right? The adanim, the the uh, those uh, they look like cinder blocks almost. The pieces on the bottom they were made out of silver for the amudim, right? The amudim had on the bottom each one had had the two little sticks on the bottom of each one of the amudim, right? Like it looked like a sefer Torah almost, right? Each amud, right? There were two, there were two, there were two sticks, and each one went in to the uh, to the amud uh, to the to the adanim. Right, and then how many Adanim were there? There were a hundred. No, there were a hundred of them, right? I think What's there were. Adanim? Those were the, the. They look like they look like cinder blocks made out of silver. It was the basis for the column. The base for the for the post for the posts, mm-hmm. right? I guess well, Amudav. Amudav is like a like a post, post right? Mm-hmm. Right. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Amudav is a post. Yeah. Hmm? A column. A post. Column. A column. Yeah. Yeah. Post. Either way. She did shvila mishkan. She based tefila because the mishkan is the place of tefila. That's the real place of tefila. You come to daven to Hakadosh Baruch Hu in the in the, in the mishkan in the base hamig in the base hamigdash. Rechinis ki basi base tefila. Like we say, we we say it in our in our slichas all the time. Ki basi base tefila. My house, Hashem says, that's a house of prayer. The gam, right. Uh, 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 that's what we said. We mentioned before that the 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 the, the, the shkolim were given for the adonim. Shahayu meya. Oh, you see, Rav Nelson tells us there was a hundred of them. There was a hundred of them. Shehem bechinas meya bracha is kamuva. And the same idea that we have to. We said it's basi based to fila. And then we learn out from that. That's another way we learn out from David HaMelech taught us the thing of a hundred brothers. But really, Chazal also tell us that really it's in the Tukun Ezayah that really the Meya Brachas are Kenege the Meya Adon. Right? The hundred, the hundred Brachas that we're supposed to make every day, the hundred blessings that we're supposed to make every day is Kenege the, the hundred Adonim that we gave for the Machsas HaShekel Sheheim Bechines Klal HaTfila because that's the idea of Klal HaTfila all tefillah when Jews are together. And that was the whole idea of the Machsus HaShekel, right? The Machsus HaShekel taught everybody that they're only a half and you need somebody else. You need somebody else. You can't be by yourself. You have to do something with somebody else. You need somebody else to be complete. And that's what it was the whole idea. And, 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 and specifically, those shkalim were used for those adonim. It's an amazing idea. It wasn't used for anything else. It wasn't used for kabbalas. It was used, this is when we counted the Jews using that money to make us that achdos, right? That we, we brought the achdos together because we all became part and parcel of the foundation of the Mishkan, the foundation. It wasn't the, you know, the, you know, an ornament. It was this. It was the foundation. Every single Jew had an equal, and, uh, equal part and parcel to the foundation of the Mishkan. Well, you want to say they really didn't need it as money because there was no, nothing to buy. I mean, they, right. they were in the de- desert. I mean, they didn't buy materials. Okay, okay. Like it's, it's just interesting. You know, we think of money is not something that, that helps us acquire something. Okay. But in this case, 
the shekel itself was the value. You know, it, was, it, it, it wasn't buying anything. It was building something, but not... It was buying. used, the money was used to build... The silver. The silver the was silver used to build yeah. the Adonim. Yeah. And it's so nice that he brings down from the Zoyer that we have this idea that that's where you get your hundred brachas from. Mm-hmm. Isn't it a beautiful concept? There was a hundred Adonim. Not many people would know that. The, uh, the hundred Adonim are connected to hundred brachas. What's an Adonim then? Ad, the Adonim that we said are the... And there were hundred bases, silver ingots. Hundred, hundred bases. And therefore, you had the hundred bases that was that, and it's basi based vila. Hakadosh Baruch Hu's house is the house of prayer. So therefore, what prayer do we do? We we say brachas. We miss supposed to make every day a hundred different blessings. Unbelievable. I think we'll stop over here now because uh, it's getting a little late. Okay, and then.